what's up guys it's your boy josh here um in yardy belly's kitchen and today i'm just going to be showing you guys how to make something that i think will taste good um today we're going to be making canadian poutine so yeah i'm just going to show you guys how to make it i'm going to search up on youtube for a video for myself and then i'm going to show you guys how to make it so stay tuned we have our ingredients instead of fries we're going to use um, hash browns, like frozen hash browns. And we have the gravy mix, and we have cheese. We have cheese curds from Happy Farms. So that's basically what all the three ingredients you need. Normally the people would use fries in um, Canada, but we have this, so we're just gonna use this. So yeah, basically you make the fries, and then you put the cheese curds on the fries, and then you put the hot gravy on it and you just eat it. So yeah, let's get started. So here we have our aluminum to put the hash browns into the pan. I had some extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to sprinkle it. I already sprinkled it onto the pan. So we're now we're just gonna put this onto this. Okay, so I'm just basically gonna put all of this onto the pan. Just like this one out. However many you want. This is a decent amount. Actually, how much left? Should we finish it, guys? I mean, we can just put all of it, to be honest. Actually, no. We'll just leave a few. There's like a few more. But yeah, this is what we have, and we're just gonna put that into the oven. Take our hash browns and place it onto the toaster oven. See right there, we got it. And we're gonna turn it on and get it started. So we can just put it on bake for 15 minutes on 350 degrees and see where that gets it. And then let's just get started on the gravy. Okay guys, so here we have our ingredients for the gravy. We have our brown gravy mix by Stone Mill. And here's the back. And we also have a measuring cup and we have our pot. So what we want to do first is put one cup of water into the pot and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we have our one cup of water. So now what we want to do is pour it into the pot. The first step is now done. What we want to do next is to probably put it on the boil. Okay, so we emptied the one pot um, full with one cup of water. So now what we're gonna do is pour this brown gravy mix onto into the water and then we're just gonna put it on the medium heat and then stir it until it's boiling. Um, I did some research and I've said, it's basically you just mix water and the packet seasoning and you just stir until it like gets to where you want it to. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. You can see the instructions. Stirring frequently, cook on medium heat until gravity comes until gravy comes to a boil. Reduce heat and let it simmer for one minute. Gravy will thicken. Okay, so we're just gonna pour it into this. Get it all out. Yeah, we got it all out. And then we're gonna put it onto our stove right here. And we are going to put it to a, a boil. So, actually this is the wrong one. Yeah, we're gonna put it to medium, right here until it gets to where we want it. And I'm also probably gonna add some butter just because like, just because you know butter is good. So I'm just gonna add butter. Okay, so our hash browns have gotten brown. So what I'm gonna do is probably just flip them over and put them back in. Uh, that's what you really want to do in this situation. Like when you see they start getting brown, you flip them over and put them on the other side. Uh, my hands are clean. I wash my hands, by the way. So I'm just gonna flip all these over and then put them back in. So, yeah. So guys, as you can see, our gravy is starting to get a little thick. I'm guessing this is how it's supposed to look. I tasted it. You know, it tastes all right, I guess. I don't really know how gravy it's supposed to taste, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty good for now. I'm just gonna put it back on a little. Oh uh, yeah. 
it looks pretty thick so far so yeah um we're gonna i'm just gonna open a cheese curd to taste it right now and i'm just gonna show you guys so yeah okay guys so it looks like the hash browns are most definitely cooked you can see the perfect golden brownness out of it ow that's burning me Jeez. ouch all right guys so you can see here the golden perfectness of the hash browns it looks like they're ready to be plated so i'm just gonna pick it up and we're going to get ready to plate it with our gravy let's get it all right guys so here we are and we are about to plate it i got my hash browns right here and i'm just going to dump it all into the plate and let me use both of this Uh, Alright, let me just take it. Forget it. I'm just gonna like throw them on the plate to be honest. Like pile it high. What you wanna do is really like pile it on top of each other. It can't be perfect, but yeah. Let's get the foil. Tastes good. We can dump all of them, right, guys? You know, you gotta try this stuff, even if you're on a diet. I'm just saying, you gotta try it once in your life, my guy. But yeah, we're just gonna place these onto the plate, and these are the last ones. We're done. So you can see we got all our hash browns here looking scrumptious. I know it's kind of a mess to plate it, but. It's all good. We are not throwing a tantrum. You can see we have our very thick looking professional chef made looking gravy. Oh my bad, I almost slipped up. <laughs> I really almost slipped up right there. We have to put the cheese curds first guys. Can you imagine if I put the gravy? I would have just been down bad for them. I'm just gonna dump a bunch because that's how they do it. Um, Just dump a bunch. You can see. Just put a bunch of cheese curds. And guys, these cheese curds are smelly, not gonna lie to you. But they're also tasty. Alright, this looks good enough. I mean guys, look at this. I'm literally eating cheese and potatoes right now. Canada, shout out to you. I mean, doesn't this look amazing, guys? All right, so now comes the part with the gravy. And what we're gonna do is just dump a bunch of the gravy. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. Don't lie, guys. Don't even. Look at this. Yo, I don't care, I'm putting all of the gravy. I mean, there's barely any left. Yeah, I don't care, bro. I'm putting all of it, unfortunately. Guys, we only live once. I mean, this might be too much gravy though. But look at it, guys. I mean, am I not Canadian after doing this? Let's put on a turnstile real quick. Look at that, guys. Made by yours truly. I mean, look at it. Guys, this is literally amazing, bro. We have cheese curds with and, 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 and this might even be better than regular fries. Just keep that in mind. Cheese curds with gravy, with cheese curds, with hash browns. Straight from Yardy Belly's Kitchen, made by Josh. Okay, guys, so I'm about to taste it. I'm about to just see how it tastes for the one time. So I'm gonna just get a hash brown and a piece of Mm, so delicious. I'm telling you, you guys need to try this at home. It literally took me like 30 minutes. But this is how you, this was how you make it. It really tastes good. And um yeah.
that's the finished product. Very delicious. So it's Josh, the food lover, Josh the Real, signing out. And guys, remember to please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Yardy Belly TV for more delicious cookings and more episodes of What Josh Eats. Um, this food was actually really good to make. Um, comment down below what other types of food you guys want me to make. Josh the Real out. Peace.